Hey, I'm Chris. I'm Drew. We are Cheap Ashes coming to you from Chandler, Arizona, Yard Cigar Bar. Today we've got a little special show going. Yeah. Why don't you tell them what we're doing today? Um, buddy? I, it's kind of be one of our last shows of the year uh, going into Christmas, so we're just doing our little Christmas year end episode here. Um, so we are going to showcase some samplers. Let's see one right there here. We're going to talk about that a little bit. Um, we are just smoking what we wanted to smoke. Um, some stuff that we smoked this year that maybe, uh, you know, we just thought, hey, this has been a great cigar. Um, like the one he's smoking, it's been out for a while. This one is brand new this year. So we're just gonna kind of go over some of, some of that stuff and uh, give some ideas what we can do for Christmas. Um, I know it's like the week before. So if you're watching this, hey, maybe there's a sampler that uh, you didn't think about or moving up in the future, this also counts for birthdays, holidays. Oh, uh, this is this is that last minute stocking stuffer stuff yeah. that a lot of wives like to do for their husbands, buddies do for each other, kind of things like that that yeah. you, that you a white elephant gift, something white like elephant, that. Yeah, yeah, something like that to, to take with you to a party. Uh, maybe you got invited to a Christmas party and you want to, you know, show your gratitude to the people that invited you. Um, you know, you can take a couple cigars, three cigar pack, and it's yeah. a really it. And here's the thing: it's extremely thoughtful. Yeah. You know, I've had people come to my house for parties, and they brought a cigar or two for me to smoke, and it's it just kind of like, oh wow, you didn't have to do that. Thank you. Well, and it's always funny too. We were talking about this earlier in the week. Um, uh, family, uh, Liz's family. So we're doing like a everybody draw a name out, do the whole oh yeah 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 um, you know, gift exchange gift kind of exchange thing. thing. Yeah. So we uh, we drew some names, and of course, us as the couple got another couple together. So we're kind of doing like a joint package almost. And uh, the the guy's a cigar guy. Well, supposedly he smokes cigars. I don't know. He's never mentioned anything about this to me, and uh, I'm the cigar guy. So I'm just kind of like, okay, what does he smoke? And, of course, nobody knows. Well, guess who has to buy him cigars? This guy right here. So I'm actually going to use some of this advice that we're going to give out today in order to uh, purchase said gift for said gift exchange. Yeah. So, so while we're doing this, we both have a drink today. Yeah. What are you drinking, dude? Um, so we're going festive. Um, so Dutch Brothers, uh, I got the candy cane Ooh. cold brew. Um, this is ridiculously expensive. Um, I understand. And ridiculously sweet. Yeah. Uh, I have not tried it yet. I want my first reaction. Normally, <laughs> as you guys know, I'm a black coffee drinker, black straight espresso. <laughs> um, anytime we do weird, fun funky drinks, we're going to... Uh, See what happens. If he's bouncing off the walls by the end of the show, you'll know what the sugar content is in that thing. Uh, I'm going with Coronado Brewing. It's the early bird. It's their French toast milk stout. So it's basically, you know, breakfast beer. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can see, I poured it in a glass. Super dark. What a milk stout should be. Yeah. Um, not overly sweet. You would think French toast. You know, you're thinking super sweet. I've been sipping on it. It's pretty close to room temperature right now, which is, you know, where you want to drink these darker beers at. And yeah. Or at least a cellar temperature, which mm -hmm. is typically that 55 to 60 degrees. It's good. I mean, it's really good. Um, I didn't even look to see what the ABV on this thing is. I'm not sure it's going to be high, high. Probably like 6 8 or something like that. 7%. Uh, real close, yeah. So it's not bourbon, it, uh, it's not barrel aged, so you're not gonna get that high ABV that you would get out of a yeah. barrel aged uh, stout. But it's still pretty tasty, you know, and it goes well with cigars. Yeah. Beers like this tend to really go well with cigars because the cigar and the beer hold up well with each other. Yeah. And you know, I'm smoking San Cristobal Revelation, which we deem the Padron Killer. Yeah. Uh, nothing's changed my mind about it. I don't know about you. No. Nope. It's for the money. It's under ten bucks. Still, after everything, this is the Mystic, which is basically their what Corona size, I guess what they would call it. Almost a robusta. It's I, like a I, weird I, Corona Gorda. Yeah. Like, it, I don't know. Box it's a box press. press, just like all theirs. Um, and I will say this: <coughs> when you're talking value cigars which we're not gonna really be talking too many value cigars today. But 
getting back to our core roots of why we started this, this is half the price of the same size of a Padron anniversary and you're getting the same, if not a better stick. Yeah, I mean, really what it comes down to, and yes, if you're a Padron smoker all the time, you can tell the difference. What I have had in the past that I've had guys that literally only smoked Padron 64s, exactly. smoked that, and literally told me, yes, you're right, this is just like a Padron 64. It's, the flavor profile on this is damn near spot on with the, yeah. with the 64. Now mind you, the 64 is one of those specialty cigars that you would give for Christmas gifts and stuff like that. Unfortunately, yeah. here at the yard, we don't carry that. Right. Or it would probably be in our gift pack. Oh, so yeah. what we have for you today is things that the yard carries. Um, we're starting with our favorite three pack. We'll, we'll go through that first. Then we'll look at this here, which some of you who are watching this probably already know exactly what it is. Some of you do not, we'll get into that. And then we'll look at some of the pre-packed stuff that they have um, already here. They've got a little shelving unit. You can walk in. Okay. Basically, they have it marked as grab and go. And it's a perfect, perfect thing. Look at something like this. It's got a little beta pack in there already. So. It's, it's really ready to go. So with that being said, what are your first, what, I should say, what's your first cigar that you're going with? Well, I'm just going to throw it up there. I got a three pack. So this is kind of one of those things. Hey, I've got... 40, 50 bucks to spend. 50 or under. Yeah, let's just say something like that. Uh, hey, I need some nice cigars. What right. do people always say? I come in, I need some nice cigars. Okay, what, what do they smoke? <laughs> First of all, are they a lighter smoker, heavier? We've talked right, about right, this right. numerous times. So mine is gonna be a little bit on the heftier side. Uh, this is for the cigar guy that, you know, smokes cigars, appreciates cigars, mm -hmm. uh, can handle a little bit beefier stuff. Um, and follows my palate so we kind of went with that right, right if I was to say to somebody hey just give me a pack of cigars this Boom. is what I want um, so we're gonna start with something uh, brand, brand new, new out of the market uh, I've only smoked it once um, it's gonna be the Olmec uh, from Foundation Cigars so this is their new kind of top end uh, don't really know a lot about it beautifully constructed yeah now if you were to take the band off that that would remind me of a Padron anniversary yeah. box press right there. Yeah, or a, a very classic uh, Cuban, Yeah, you know, where it's got that real rich uh, note to it. Uh, Gorgeous yeah. cigar. With this, packaging is great, box is very simple. Absolute phenomenal job on packaging, construction, the thing burned perfectly when I smoked it. I smoked it after it was out of the humidor for a while. Not sure how long it was sitting uh, in shipping. Um, it was probably shocked a little bit. I didn't get a lot out of it, unfortunately, because of that. Um, so I need to smoke it again to really be able to fully. But again, that's why we say smoke it at least twice. Yeah, or let it rest a couple weeks uh, if you buy it, something like this. This cigar is $17 by itself. <laughs> so it's a little bit above our uh, our general budget, but <laughs> it's a, a great idea for Christmas idea, especially if you got that Padron guy, you're coming into the Yard Cigar Bar, no Padrones on the shelf. This guy is just as good, if not better, than the Padron in its own way. So it's right. not, it doesn't taste like a Padron, but quality, uh, packaging, everything about it is very much that classic uh, standard. If you were to buy a box, their box is a 10, I believe, or 12. Um, I don't remember. I'm sorry. Well, I'm they very, did a box of 12. I remember Very that. unprepared today, but something like this guy, we just kind of grab and go. So if I'm walking in here, this is one. Uh, I'm going to go with... Something else that we haven't really talked about a lot. Um, it's going to be the Rocket Patel Disciple. Um, Out of their the, the line, that's probably the Rocky that I would smoke. Yeah, I've smoked quite a few of these uh, over the last couple years. Uh, it did come out a couple years ago, I believe. Uh, definitely in that kind of medium to medium plus side, depending on uh, what you like out of a cigar. Uh, but this guy right here, great packaging as well. You can see it's got the beautiful, like, Kind of hard to see with our lighting. Uh, I apologize, but this kind of nice copper um, look to it. It's got a gorgeous band on it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it really is nice. So with those two together, and then just to throw in a classic that I know I always like is the Mercy Lago Toro. Uh, I mean, Espinosa definitely. This is well, that's one, your go-to. Yeah, it's one of my staples. Uh, San Andreas wrapper, very. You ever want to give this guy a stick? Yeah, he would not be disappointed with the very Michelin. very very full body on that which is nice <laughs> a little bit of spice so that's going to be my three pack so coming in saying okay 
this one's 17 bucks, this one's about 14 bucks, and this one's right around that 10, 50, 11 dollar range. So you're, you're coming in right around 50 bucks. Yeah, right. mine might be a little bit more expensive. Eh, maybe not, but I've got my three here, which is what you're smoking, the knuckle sandwich, uh, Ashton BSG, and then what might be one of my most favorite cigars is the Tabernacle from Foundation. It's funny that both of us picked the Foundation as something that we would offer up as a gift because the stuff is so good. Well, and Espinosa as well. I mean, and so Espinosa as well. Yeah. Made, so. um, I'm going to start with the Knuckle Sandwich looking at this. It's the Figurado 6.5 by 52. This thing is beautiful. You can't really see it with the lighting. Um, like, fun-shaped cigars are always good to give. You know, Figurado, Torpedoes, things yeah. like that. Only because it's extremely, like, different from what you're used to seeing, right? Right. So it's one of those things, you're not used to seeing it. A lot of people don't smoke those sizes. It's kind of crazy, you know, when you, you see it. Right. The next is the VSG. This is the Sorcerer. And this is a staple in the yards humidor. It's one of those cigars that always, always, always is here. It's fantastic. VSG's been around since, what, the 90s now, right? Yeah, oh yeah, easily. Yeah, it's and, a and a funny story with this cigar is the first time I smoked one, it was an Ashton, right? What's an Ashton? Light, Connecticut. Uh, it turned me super green. Yeah. I smoked it on an empty stomach. I was just kind of like, Ugh. I remember I was working at the Tinderbox in Mesa. Paul had to bring me a Coca-Cola, lay me on the couch and say, Drink this, give yourself a half hour, and then get back up. Right. You know, so just be careful with it, you know. And then finally for my three pack that I would recommend as gifts is the Tabernacle. This is um, by far top five for me. Yeah, i put it there too. I would put this in my top five. Staple in our humidor here. It's a fantastically constructed cigar. It's rough though. You look at it and you're thinking, oh, how is this a great cigar, right? It's got veiny wrapper, it's kind of put together. It is, you know, I don't really want to get into the politics of it, but it's the original Liga. And yeah. and we're just gonna say it for what it is. Um, fantastic. So I'm looking at 16, 16 and 13, so right around that $50 range. Again, yeah. you want to keep under that $50. You know, price tag for a gift for somebody, that's something that I would recommend for my three pack. Yeah. And, and then, why don't you get into the grab and go? Yeah. Because this mean, is, guys, honestly, I put these together. The owner, Eric, and I put them together. Paige puts them together. We've all done it together in here. Might be the best deal out there in a five pack of cigars, four or five pack. Yeah. And it, that's the best thing is that the little grab and go five pack, six packs, depending on what cigars they're putting in there, uh, coming at 30 bucks. Um, so with that, I mean, this is something you can grab for 30 bucks. Um, it's already got the Bovita pack in it. Got the Bovita pack in it. So, and the nice thing about it is all these cigars aren't $5 cigars. Not even uh, close. You know, or $6 cigars. It's like, we got a uh, Cuevas Patrimonio, we got Esteban Carreras, Mr. Brownstone, uh, the La Ranja uh, Oscuro, uh, we got the Superfly, and the Asylum 13, um, what is that, the, uh, Friday the 13th morning. Yeah, something like that. I, I um, think that's what it was. So with that, I mean, we're looking at... 50 plus. 50 at least. Um, probably closer to that $60 price point. For 30 bucks. This is one of those, like, definitely... I don't even have to think about it. I grab it for 30 bucks, take it to my party, take it to my stocking stuffer, whatever. And, and the crazy thing is when we do these, being behind the counter, you have regulars come in and you, they look at it like... Well, I can't not buy this right now. Right. You I know, mean, it, I buy them like, all the time myself. So everybody wants these. They're fantastic. They're just it, it's such a good buy. And sometimes I looked at it and went, huh? You know, I mean the cigars in there are fantastic. Um, and they do it, you know, they do it for Christmas most of the time. But if you're a regular here to stop by, a lot of times they'll have them out on the counter so you can see them. They have we have a really cool shelving unit now. Uh, right by the humidor. As soon as you walk in, it's going to be the first thing you see as you're going to the humidor. You can just look at it and say, oh, I don't know. Here we go. I yeah. got what I need. Now, on the other hand, um, since we're going to be talking about the, the show as far as like 
even if you come in. Now, the problem with that, you just grab something, you don't get to explore what else is in the exactly. humidor. Exactly. So it's also one of those things, grab that, now if you're just buying it for somebody else, totally fine. Just grab it, go, do whatever you need to. But if you're the guy that comes in all the time or wants to explore what else is in the humidor, grab that. Definitely a great deal. See what else is in there as well. And the humidor is nice right now. There's some really nice stuff in there. Um, uh, what were we, two weeks ago, it's kind of changed up since the two weeks. And it's, yeah. it's some really nice new stuff. If you haven't been here in a month or so, stop in, check it out. And then we've got this bad boy. Yeah. So with that. This is a box of two of these. Yeah. So. We're looking at something like this, kind of hard to see, but this is going to be your Romacraft, uh, basically your Romacraft Grand Corona sampler. Uh, comes in a nice fancy box like this, or you can buy the, the individual packs like this. It's, they have both available. We have uh, both available. 90 bucks for this this particular pack here, and there's what, eight cigars. So you're looking at- 180 for the box, Yeah, 90 for the All for the, the Grand Corona size, which personally is one of my favorite sizes. Um, that is- yeah, that's a great size to smoke. And this is this is kind of that pack. If if you've got, it, it's funny if you've got a guy or gal in your life that's kind of a someone that's hard to buy for with with cigars. This would be something that makes any cigar smoker happy. Yeah, absolutely. And it's kind of one of those things too. You're not going to find it everywhere. It's mm -mm. it's a limited uh, availability. Um, I know that they do it often, but it's also they only. Each shop only gets X number, and it's they gotta wait. It's a more. it's an allotment. Yeah, you know, and it's it's a great great deal. I remember Rocky coming in last year, and he just went nuts. He was like, "Oh, you got him!" Ah, he was you know one of our regular customers here. He just was floored that we had him. He smoked yeah. him. He loved him. I'm sure he's probably gotten another. You know. I think he bought a whole box last year. I'm pretty sure he might do that again this year. Yeah, and the cool thing about this one, it's got like the Wanderlust in there, which originally was a German exclusive. Um, you've got the Baca, which Baca. has become more regular availability, but it's not a long time. That was a very, very hard one to find. And then, of course, you got Neanderthal, uh, Aquatine, uh, Cro Magnon, and then the Intemperance lines here, uh, along with the Whiskey Rebellion. Uh, I mean, it is a great pack for 90 bucks. Uh, yeah, no, you. You know, you talk about deal, is it worth it? That pack to me is well worth the money. Yeah, and I mean, it's under a hundred bucks for that. You go in there, you're gonna spend over a hundred dollars on those cigars. Now, once again, these are all the same size, uh, but we're, most shops aren't gonna have a Grand Corona, if at all. Um, any Corona sizes on a lot of those, and most of the time they have the standard kind of, uh, the little short fat knuckle dragger or this is a good way though to figure out if you really like the blends yeah because they're the same exact size <laughs> yeah so you can tell you know you can really compare it across lines because it's exactly the right. same coming out of that same factory you can really see what line of Roma craft really fits your palate by getting a pack like this too and it's a, it's a lot of fun to just smoke the ones you haven't smoked before and see hey do I like this well Maybe not for everybody, maybe yeah. not for me. You're not out a whole ton of time nor money, right? Yeah, exactly. And once again, they're on that same little shelf you need right over there, so it's a Yeah, it's right there, go. walk in. But yeah, come down, um, last minute gifts, cigars are always great for the for the guys. To, in, you know, being here at Christmas time for a few years now, you always see wives coming in. And, it's usually about midweek before Christmas, towards the end of the week before Christmas. They come in, oh my gosh, I need two or three cigars for my husband's stocking. This is what he likes. Uh, can we get him one or two of these and then throw me something different that you know he may not have tried before. Right. And that's why we're you know, showing you these three packs, showing me the five packs and then going with this guy here. Yeah. Um, I don't think you can go wrong with any of these cigars that we've shown you today as gifts for, you know, even the most discerning, you know, yeah. cigar smoker. Well, and, and to be fair, a lot of the stuff we pick is a little bit on the heavier side. <laughs> it is. So if you got that guy that's like, hey, uh, I smoke a one cigar a year or once every few months or something like that. There's plenty the Connecticut. Of other, plenty we've of got other options. plenty of Connecticut's in that humidor. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, especially there's Ashton. Um, you've got the, the, the milder stuff, Rocky. Uh, my father even has Perdomo has got them. Cuevas has them. I mean, Espinosa, they've got the crema. 
you know, there's just so many different uh, choices that you can choose from. And it's, you know, like I said, the humidor is pretty stocked right now. We were in there looking around this morning. Looks really good. Um, come on down, see Paige, Marissa, Rob. They're the ones that are working most of the time right now. Um, any of those three can help you out. You know, uh, I hint that I would give you, if you are buying for somebody, snap a picture of some of the scars they have in the humidor, yep. look at the bands, those kinds of things. Any of that kind of stuff can help us out. You know, we know cigars, we think we know cigars fairly well, but at the same time, any help you can give any of your local tobacconist in buying cigars for that special someone would be a huge help. It would make you look like the hero. Yeah. Because, you know, you open it up and you're like, oh my gosh, how did you know I like this? And the best thing too you can do, and it's very inexpensive little add-on, so say you're buying a three pack and you got an extra 10, 15 bucks to spend, grab lighter. a little inexpensive lighter, Cutters. a little cutter, I mean, you're looking at 10 bucks for a lighter, lifetime warranty. Five bucks for, for a, a, a pretty decent cutter. So for 15 bucks as an add-on, you could literally buy two cigars and then a cutter and lighter, and it's a little pack. Looks like you actually thought it through when you well, just like last minute, like whatever. You can do the grab and go five pack, lighter cutter under 50 bucks, boom, you're done. Yeah. And that is, that, I'm <laughs> telling you guys, that goes a long way as a gift to somebody who enjoys cigars. Yeah. You know? So, you know, with that, uh, happy holidays, buddy. Yes. You know, Merry Christmas, another, everybody. Another out there. year, yep, another year down, man. It's crazy. Um, another year down means another year older, right? Yep, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's stupid me. You know, your, your mind when you hit 50 wants to keep doing things. Your body tells you, no, I played kickball on Wednesday with our eighth graders. My first hard step, I blew my right calf. Don't do it. Yeah. Call it being old and out of shape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's where it is. <laughs> Like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, uh, cheap underscore ashes. Find us on Spotify, YouTube, anchor.fm, wherever you want to find us. We're there. Yeah. And hey, Merry Christmas. Thanks for following. See you next year. See ya.